Hey y'all, so this week's review is on the 2020 Pantheon Gaia. Now I don't actually have this deck, but a friend of mine did have it, so I got to try it out once or twice, I got to skate it around, but with some of the other products I've had, I didn't get to experiment with it as long as I would have liked. I didn't get to do many things to it, really beat it up, take it to different places. So consider this review more an overview rather than the in-depth review that you know you might be used to from from me so yeah so someone more experienced might feel a bit differently about some of the comments i make um and when i do stand by these comments i do think maybe one or two of them would change if i got to experiment with it for longer right so let's get into it also this i'm trying to do this in one take so excuse any ums and ums i don't have much time to edit videos uh these days as i started a new school thing but yeah so bear with me on that right so specs so this deck is I'm using this as a substitute by the way so the deck is uh 37 inches long with a kick tail 9.6 inches wide with a lot of taper so the way you stand in front is a bit narrower the middle is much wider and the back is a bit narrower so with a lot of taper imagine a downhill skateboard pintail shape right uh it has micro drop of 0 0.2 inches or 0 0.5 centimeters it has flush mounting and yeah the construction is seven plies of maple with two fiberglass layers uh within the maple so that when you do beat up this deck the fiberglass doesn't get into your fingers and yeah that's pretty much it for construction or oh, the wheelbase options are 24.5 and 25.5 uh right so first impressions when i stood on this deck i was really impressed with how natural it felt i was worried with the images that i saw that the rails would be too sharp and that the micro drop would be too small to really feel uh, but the rails weren't too sharp i could comfortably put my toes and heels on them and the micro drop was there i could definitely feel it um, but it wasn't as intrusive or as i'd as I would have hoped or rather it wasn't as prominent as I would have hoped but then again that turned out to be an advantage as I later found out and the concave was really comfortable um, it was kind of flattish in the middle I could say so it was very comfortable as someone who doesn't like steep concave or much too, too much concave this was really nice and I was impressed by this right so first thing I'll talk about is how much of a difference the drop made and the flush mounting um, so with so for an extreme example pure top mount decks can feel tippy and they have a slightly harsh release between gripping and slipping uh, decks that have a drop have a smoother release between gripping and, sl and slipping so with the micro drop and flush mounting i definitely felt that this deck felt smoother going into slides but at the same time, it didn't have that hammocky feel that drop mount decks feel. So it kind of felt like a top mount, but did have that desirable uh, s gripping into slipping feel that you want from uh, a drop deck. So that was nice. Uh, I didn't get to test out the stability uh, that you do get, but I definitely think it would have made a difference uh, going fast, made it a bit more stable all right what's next uh so to talk about the micro drop a bit more my uh despite so as i said earlier it wasn't as prominent as i wanted it to be so that turned out to be a bit of an advantage um i could step on the micro drop and put my toes on it comfortably without really feeling like my ride was affected it was really nice to have it like as a kind of like a pad or something to increase how much leverage I had when turning toe side and uh, because of that I also felt because it wasn't so prominent I also felt like I needed a toe stop a, sorry a foot stop and um, yeah some people might see that as a disadvantage but you know I don't mind having a foot stop and it was nice that I could have one here and feel that it make made a difference right what's next um, so yeah the micro drop was good stuff what i didn't like was the back micro drop so i tend to have a rather short stance 
So because of that, uh, in, par in particular or in reference to talking and then going from a talking to the slides, uh, I kind of felt like my back foot was lost because I have a short stance and the micro drop was, I don't know, the, the overall distance is about 23, maybe 22 inches. Um, I felt like my back foot would get lost because I wasn't really using it or it wasn't really that far back. So I felt disadvantaged because of my short stance. And when you're going into into slides at 60 km or 40 mile per hour, you know, you don't have the time to look down, see if your foot is in the right position. You really rely on board field to tell you uh, what your back foot is doing. Um, let's see. Okay, still recording. Yeah, you rely on the concave to tell you what your back foot is doing. And I felt my back foot felt kind of lost on this deck. When I was just doing a pure stand up run with stand up slides and stuff, it felt fine. Uh, not really an issue because uh, I stand wider where when I do stand up slides, I could use the backdrop more as well with toe sides. One thing I didn't like also, um, particularly with toe sides, was that the rail felt too sharp for me to use it and I couldn't use the deck because it had no concave, it was basically flat. And I did see this as an issue because with my friend, sometimes when he do toe sides, I could, see, I could see his foot slipping inwards and he had Nocton on the deck as well. So Nocton is really grippy, so you can see how, uh, how, how that can be an issue. And if you're going fast and your foot slips inwards, when you're doing a toe side, you know, that can really spook you and can really mess up your line because you don't have enough leverage to turn right. So, yeah, as well, if there was a there was a point where the micro drop joined with the rails and that also felt kind of uh, uncomfortable to use. Because uh, there wasn't really a point I could push against and feel comfortable pushing against. And uh, what else? Also, the micro drop, uh, I couldn't use it because of my short stance. So when doing toe sides, it also felt kind of awkward to push against it backwards. And yeah, this could be solved in a few ways. Okay, if you have a, a wider stance, really no issue for you. Uh, no issue for you. A lot of the stuff I've said, no problem for you. If you uh, use concave mods, like a W implant, it can solve the issue of your of a foot sliding. Or if you prefer to use the rails, you could wrap the rail with grip and you put and you have something to hold you as you push against now i didn't get to experiment with this deck as much as i would have liked so i didn't get to try some of these solutions and really tell you how they feel or if they make a difference so yeah okay uh but yeah uh, what's next um what is next right uh this deck is really comfortable. Like I mentioned earlier, the concave is super comfortable. Um, felt nice for pushing around. So if you have to get from point A to point B or from your house to the skate spot, you know, this, this deck is going to feel great. Um, I don't want to go too much into that. Uh, so move on. It had a kick and the kick, uh, I don't really see the point of having kicks on downhill decks, but the kick on this was nice. It did have nice pop and uh yeah it did have nice pop and you know and going from point a to point b sometimes all in of uh, one or two things was nice coming down curbs and going up curbs was pretty pretty decent pretty nice so it is useful i don't see the point of all in downhill decks as they're usually very heavy and stuff like that another thing is the deck was really lightweight definitely one of the lightest decks I've gotten to skate. A lot of decks can be heavy, like this is really heavy. Uh, so it was nice that that was lightweight. My arms weren't so tired from carrying it up the hill all the time. Right. Uh, the taper on the deck uh, was, it didn't affect the overall ride as much as I thought it would. I don't like taper because taper changes how you interact with the deck and uh, it really can be annoying on a personal level because you might if it tapers to be wider at the back here you have too much leverage when doing heel side stuff and not enough when doing toe side stuff so i personally don't like it but because with the gaia you are interacting with the 
deck where the drops start after where the drop started um you already you already had a point where it was kind of wide enough already and the same for the hillside stuff so you didn't really feel like it affected the ride as much so that's not an issue right next thing is relatively affordable for only 150 dollars this is a very competitively priced deck and you get a lot of value for money when you look at the construction how great the graphic looks um, and everything else yeah um yeah one of the best decks for that price point to be honest and i think it's a really fair price for what you get so what did not like about the pantheon guy um i've already mentioned one or two things that i didn't like but now you know let's uh get into it again these are things that are very personal to me as a rider and may change may change or may have changed if i got to experiment with the deck for longer so the grip tape isn't the best the grip tape is terrible uh it's it's trash within a few weeks of riding it within a few sessions it's going to start wearing out so when you do buy it make sure you get uh, a replacement grip to go with it mob grip is a good affordable alternative seismic lockdown is a decent affordable alternative uh, no affordable decent alternative it's a, a lot more expensive like 30 dollars uh for a pack and it does last forever but it's really sharp and might not be to everybody's liking so make sure you get good uh grip as replacement because the stock one is trash so i did talk about how my back foot could be lost but with that again concave mods and if you have a wider stance might not be so much of an issue but yeah it didn't really match that well to my riding style and when i was looking to get a new deck um, that was one of the reasons that deterred me from picking it because yeah the backdrop was just a bit too far for me but again a torque block concave mods easily fix that and if you have wider stance no issue and uh yeah that's pretty much it uh so who should get it if you have a wider stance for sure if you want a if you want to do primarily like stand-up sliding and stuff um yeah it's the one to get um who shouldn't get it uh if you have a shorter stance maybe consider not getting it um if you want to use it with uh what else or if you uh if you want to get it like this uh you might be disappointed because pantheon only stocks and restocks every few months and once a board is sold out you know you're gonna have to wait a couple months till you get it so if you don't if it's not in stock at the moment you see this video then you know tough luck till next time you know uh things to keep in mind if you do buy it so the deck works best with 165 165 millimeter trucks uh with free ride wheels if you run downhill wheels which are wider 150 millimeter trucks are a better option or 140 to 145 um replace the grip right and uh consider wrapping grip around the rails for a bit more security when doing two side slides and stuff like that and yeah so my overall conclusion is that the Pantheon Gaia is one of the best free ride downhill decks. Um, even though I have said one or two negative things about it, that's just my personal preference as a rider. And that's my anecdotal experience. It might be different for someone else, but I still do think it's one of the best decks. And if you do get it, you wouldn't be disappointed. And yeah, so thanks for watching this review. There are one or two things that I've missed out, so make sure you check out the write-up for something more in-depth, more concise, and more and constructed better. Big shout-out to my patrons or my Patreon subscribers. Uh, if I remember everyone, there's Jay, Jan, Andrew, Mogi, Superbad Juju, and Jed. Thanks, guys, a lot for this stuff and for supporting me. If you want to keep seeing more reviews like this, then you guys consider buying stickers or joining the patreon gang so cheers thanks for watching this and hope it's been useful